All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to do a couple things. First of all, we're going to make the ball's movement a little bit more smooth, and then we're going to create the paddle class. Uh, so first of all, I, I want this uh, not to be an integer. Um, I want it to be a double, uh, all these variables to be doubles, x, y, dx, dy. And the only issue that causes for us is that the draw oval method takes integers. So we can just cast uh, the x value and the y value to be an integer, and this should make the movement a little bit more smooth. Um, so if we run it, uh, it'll eventually be a little bit more smooth as values get adjusted. Um, so anyway, I wanted to make sure those were doubles. Uh, and uh, now we are going to go create the paddle class. Now the two, the ball and the paddle are not going to interact quite yet, but we are going to start our uh, class. So new class called paddle and our paddle, like our ball, will need to know some things about itself and it will need a constructor. It will also need the update method. No, it won't need the update method, will it? Um, let me just make sure. Do I use the update method? I do use the update method. Okay, so let's add it. We're not actually going to implement anything with it now. Uh, but And then we need a draw method. And I think that might be it for right now. So let's start adding these things. So just a very basic constructor. Uh, public paddle. And under the constructor, we will uh, not do anything else right now. So what does the paddle need to know about itself? Well, it needs to know it's how wide it is, how tall it is, its location in space. So uh, private double, it's x position, that's side to side motion. We're going to have uh, private double dx. I don't really know if we need dx. Let's not do dx. So private double x, and that's it for that. And then we're going to have private int width height and that's enough uh, then we need anything else oh yeah we need uh, its location in the y like in the up down direction like where it should be fixed so we're going to do a public um, final int called y position and this is going to be equal to bb main dot height minus a certain amount so it goes up from the floor and we'll just do minus 100. Um, we're going to set some val values in our um, constructor so I'll say at the beginning the paddle will be in the paddle will be at bb main dot width minus width so minus the or no, minus width divided by 2. So it's right in the middle. And the width uh, will be, let's just set it to, um, I don't even know, 100 at first. Width equals 100, so that's how wide the paddle is. And then the height of the paddle equals, I don't know, 20 at first, and we can adjust these values. Under update, we'll just have this, we're going to use it later, public void update. We're not going to actually do any implementation right now because um, we don't really need it. Uh, and then under draw, public void draw, and it needs the graphics tool named G. And all the graphics 2D, oh yeah, we need to uh, import graphics 2D into this class. And all the draw method is going to do for our paddle is um, it's going to do some a couple different things. So g dot set color. Uh, let's do dark gray again just to keep it consistent. You can change these values obviously, and then g dot uh, fill rectangle, and we're going to use x. But it's, an, it's a double, so we need to cast it to an int. 
And then this is y position, because the y position is fixed. The paddle never moves up and down. And width and height are already correct. So we'll just leave it at that. And I believe that's it for just right now. So let's go, and I'm just closing a different program down. Uh, see if uh, we create a new paddle in our game panel. So that here's under the entities, we'll create a paddle. The paddle. Under our initialize method, we need to initialize it. The paddle equals a new object of the paddle class. And then we need to draw the paddle. After we draw the ball, the paddle, because it knows how to draw itself, so dot draw. And let's see, I believe it should pop up on the screen now. It won't interact with the ball. Oh, and I miscalculated the X thing. Um, what should it have been? I bet you guys know. Width divided by 2. BB main width divided by 2 minus width divided by 2. That should be right. Or closer, anyway. Yeah, so that put it in the middle. Um, but it doesn't do anything yet, and that's going to be the next video. Okay.